Hey y'all, so some time back we were talking about Lucifer, how I was trying to say that Lucifer and Satan are not the same person. Lucifer would be a king of Babylon, and uh, it's a braggadocious king who decided he was boasting himself against the Lord, and men tend to do that. You don't see Satan doing that very much. And even though he likes to trick man, he likes to um, uh, dissuade him or what have you. Or, um, he doesn't so much boast himself up into the heavens or to be something uh, more than what God has made him to be. So anyway, I also want to point out that you see in Revelations chapter uh, 20, it says, and he said, and it's sorry, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So if you look at these words, dragon, oops, I smudged it, and serpent, D and S, D and S. Not once is he called Lucifer in this. Right? You don't see that. The capital D was our lowercase d, lowercase s, which I made it by capital by accident. Capital D and capital S. And you see what in this word evil. Right? So check that out. The devil is evil, of course. And also vile, V-I-L-E. You can take the E, put it there, it's vile. He's vile. So anyway, just to kind of give you an indication that Lucifer is not Satan, but he is the dragon and the serpent. A dragon and serpent are pretty much the same thing. The devil and Satan, that's the same thing. It is who he is. But anyway, you see that rhyming type of thing going on here. The dragon, devil, serpent, Satan. Not once is Satan's name, Lucifer, as in three syllables, is usually two. Dragon, serpent, the old serpent, devil, and Satan. It's usually two syllables. Easy to say, easy to understand. He's not a man. He's not Lucifer setting himself above the clouds of God, the stars of God on a throne, which is a man who dies and goes into the grave. That's not Lucifer. Satan is a created being like people are, but he was meant to be a, a, a being to give God a glory. You know, he's not. he wasn't made a man. He was made a... Uh, a cherub, evidently. And so, um, anyway, just wanted to point that out real quick. And um, <clears throat> it's amazing how you can go through the Bible and you see these words. Dragon, serpent, devil, Satan. Uh, a dragon doesn't exactly mean a snake. Or a serpent doesn't mean exactly a snake. Uh, animal that slithers on its belly but you know a lot of animals do crawl on their bellies and I believe if you look into a revelation I'm sorry Genesis that's what it says so we can take a look so now we see here in Genesis it says now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made and he said unto the woman yea hath God said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. See, he didn't say surely die. He said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. So, 
Satan added the words, and he also took of the words. So you see serpent there. First time Satan is called serpent. Later he's called Satan, the devil, the dragon, what have you. No part of this says Lucifer. You don't see Lucifer here. But uh, anyway, so they're telling what happened, and this is the serpent beguiled me. That is to put guilt. Beguiled means to make guilty. You can see guilt in that. G U I L. Guilt. And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall, thy go, shall thou go. It didn't mean to slither or crawl or whatever. It didn't say that. This probably means that he was to walk and his belly would be really close to the ground. And it says, In dust thou shalt eat, shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Well, again, it could have meant that, but you know. Um, anyway, the serpent seemed to have been possessed by Satan, the uh, fallen cherubim. And so, uh, that's what it seems like, but the first occurrence of some kind of inhibity or some kind of enemy, rather, is whenever Satan appeared on the scene as the serpent. And again, it's not calling him. The, it's not calling him the. Uh, the uh, it's not calling him Lucifer. But anyway, just want to point that out. <laughs>